Back in Magnus Arena, it's an 84-69 win for the Denver Pioneers over the USC Upstate Spartans, and joined by the head coach of the Pioneers, Rodney Billups. And uh, any day when you can go out and you can shoot 67.3% from the floor, you put 12 guys on the floor, 11 of them score points. But spreading the ball around, 24 assists in this game, 11 turnovers, 2.18 assists per turnover. This is a good game all around today. Yeah, we shared the ball pretty well, um, and we knew that they were going to play zone. And the strength of our team, and I say this every single day, the strength of our team is our team. And when we play the right way, uh, it, it shows up like this. Denver with uh, game high, 21 points from Daniel Miko, but you got contributions from guys. I mean, Christian Mackey comes in, only plays seven minutes. He gets 10 points. Joe Rosga is hot from behind the three-point line. When everybody kind of has the offense going that way, you said in our pregame conversation last game, you kind of felt like guys could have taken shots where they were going for that extra pass. Today it seemed like guys were comfortable taking shots when they knew they had the opportunities to. You know, early we, we, we overshared, and – uh, I had to tell our guys, when you're open, just shoot the ball. And we, we've got to make the defense play how we want them to play, not how they want to play. And, you know, 24 assists on 35 baskets, that's great. Uh, and and that's, a, that's a tribute to our team being unselfish and, and having some fun playing like that. We were talking about practice yesterday. You guys go out to do the first half of practice, then took a little break to come out in the second half and try to finish strong, which is something that over the last couple of games had been a bit different rhythm over the last uh, 20 minutes in each contest. How impressed were you? I mean, Upstate never goes on a run in the second half. They don't really close to within, I think, 13 coming out of halftime for the guys to have learned that lesson, hopefully, from the last two games. No, we practiced it, and we're going to continue to practice our halftime, uh, our halftime relaxation, and come back and, and get after it that first five or, or eight minutes uh, of the second half. So we're going to continue to practice it. Hopefully, this this gives our team some momentum going on the road. And you know, we if we if we take care of the ball and, and only have 11 turnovers uh, on the road, we give ourselves a, a huge chance to win. But that, that, that's all second half stuff. And you look at our last few games, we've turned the ball over like a madman in the second half, and in this game we, we kind of grew up. Denver with a very impressive 84-69 win today over USC Upstate. And coming up next, it's Northern Colorado in the, uh, the latest of the front-range matchups the Pioneers have seen on the schedule all season long. The winning head coach of the Denver Pioneers today, Rodney Billups. Coach, thanks, and hey, thanks. Uh, we'll see you next time out. Right, sounds good. Pioneers with a victory in this one. Denver improves to 5-5 five and five at the 500 mark for the first time this season. The Pioneers started the year 0-2, alternated wins and losses, and now back-to-back -back wins for the first time in 2017-2018. And really, if you take away that brutal second half against the Air Force, this is a team that should be on a four-game winning streak. So things feeling pretty good right now for the Pioneers, who have looked really, really impressive over this last stretch at home. Denver, from this one, will move on for three straight games on the road. At Northern Colorado coming up on December 13th, and then true road trips at Stanford and at Montana State in the Bay Area on the 15th, and three days later, taking on the Bobcats in Bozeman, which will be an interesting one. We'll go directly from the Bay Area to Bozeman, Montana, where the Pioneers will take on an upstart Montana State team that is sure to give a little bit different look than what we've seen in the early going of this 2017-2018 season.